Right, so it is half seven in the morning and I've just pulled on to the new extension we are starting. I'll show you now. This is the same job where we did that radius wall. I don't know if you remember. Um, this job is pretty much mine and I'm doing it for the joiner. Those who watch my videos know who the joiner is. I'm just doing a job for him, a barn conversion up the road. I'll throw a couple of videos I've done there because I've done quite a lot. So let's go have a little look at this job. There's the radius wall. Now it's all done. Looks pretty good. Just waiting for the sandstone. And here's the extension. Oh, there's the lights. So we are pretty much ready to rock and roll today. Um, it steps back because we've got a plinth going on here. So it steps back. 50 mil so that's cool and then yesterday I just put up my vertical damp you can see I've got my DPC in there and all my starter packs so let's crack on get a mix on this is the setup we have gone with today um, got a profile up there using my dory block to cast my line through so I really shouldn't have to touch my level which is nice and then I've got this one here to run to that over there I've got to get this first course down I'm going to skirt out and then I've got a 450 tray to go out there once this first one's on so let's crack on That's why I like working on my own, because I can play with the line. It's a weird one, these blocks are five mil small. So normally a block's two one five and these are about two one. Which is a bit weird. I'm trying just to creep my beds up a little bit, but I'm not gonna force it because Obviously it's not backed in or anything. I can't get it backed in until the plinth bricks turn up, which I don't know when that's actually gonna be. So at the moment, just need to go a bit steady with bed. And all my blocks are a bit wet. So I just want to show you my vertical damp again and why it's actually quite important. In all fairness, we never used to put it up, but it is important. Imagine you've got your extension built here, block work, brick work, tied in to your existing ass. If it's thrashing down with water, it's not hard for water to penetrate through your brickwork on the skin of the existing house to your block work, and then you've got damp inside. And especially on this build, when I was drilling to put all my ties in, it was uh, like the internal brickwork here was wet. There was no dust coming out. Um, so it's probably good that I did put that up because otherwise we would have had damp bridging into our extension. So yeah, it's just like a little cavity and it breaks damp from getting across. Sad. Here we go. So we are just about to set out our two windows 
on our extension. Here's the extension for those who want to just be nosy. There she is. So we just need to use our scale ruler. Looks fancy, isn't it? Uh, this is 1 to 50 um, scale. There it is, 1 to 50, and there's no measurements. So we just use our scale ruler to set these two windows out. So we're, if I can find 1 to 50, there it is, 1 to 50. So just looking right there, we focus for you. That window is a metre. That window. Uh, now, that window is also a metre. So all I want to do now is just find out what my nibs are. That nib is a bat. Well, it looks like a block. 450 half metre. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's basically what I'm doing right now. I'm just scaling this drawing. I'm going to make it work to my liking. Sand. Right, so I've just set my windows out. Of course I made the extension while setting it out slightly bigger. The drawing's not quite as it is. But I've just had a chat with the customer. They want to keep the windows a metre. Because there's a, uh, a window above bang in the middle so I want everything to look nice so I've just made that slightly bigger and I've made panel in the middle slightly bigger as well so yeah some weight now I've laid one block up to my jarn block I'll plumb that make sure it's right I'll tell you what I also check the measurement as well just double check it's still a meter Oh, good job I checked, ten more laps. I'm a bugger for not double checking measurements. One metre smack on, that's what we like. Make sure she's still plump. Cool. Just make sure that's still nice as well, it's not bad. Cool. Right, so 10 to 10, just got this up, you know, nothing major, but just taking my time, making sure everything's lovely. I, I really enjoy working on my own and having my own jobs because I like to do things my way. Um, just little things like even putting profiles up or ju just making th sure things are right, it just makes me happy. Oh, get looked after here. Nice bacon butty and a coffee. That's what we like. That's where I'm leaving this wall for now. All pointed inside and out. I mean, I guess on extensions, you don't really need to point the back of your block work at all. But it's just about having a bit of pride, I guess, in your job. I mean, your joints on the back should be full and desnotted. But this is the thing I was saying, just I like to do things my way. And it's just nice, isn't it? Having a bit of pride in your work, making sure things are right. It's all good. Anyway, we are now going to move on to the dog leg over there. So, I'm going to set all my trays out and uh, get cracking. Alright, so I've just loaded out all my compo, all my spots, and now I'm going to blast this panel in and then I'll do the dog leg, which shouldn't be too bad. So, 
let's get to work. A bit quieter now, uh, old Craig's moved over there. Just want to show you how I've set my tray out. Obviously this is my skirt, I went over that earlier. That connects to my DPM later on, what goes in. Uh, and then I just hang my, uh, my other tray out like this. And rather than just put bricks on it to trap it down, stop it blowing, I quickly put a smear on, bed it on, and then I just spread a bed out straight away, which holds it. And it's just easy, in it? Ready to lay now. That bed won't go off because obviously it's all on plastic. So yeah, just ready to blast again. So let's get cracking. So a couple of things I'm trying to do while I lay blocks now is reduce my movement in which it takes me to lay a block and also just making sure that you're not hitting the block too much so when I say I'm trying to reduce my movement previously I was getting a block get it into my hands and then perping it as I do and then lifting it into place and then point it down but with my back really playing up recently and all I've been doing is block work for the last couple of weeks and obviously watching and reviewing my own videos I notice how much I have to mess about with a block before I even lay it so I'm trying to reduce how much I touch a block I just want to touch a block to lay it that's all I want to do Right, so this is stage we are at at the moment. I've got this up to five and I've just set the window out, leaving it like that because, I don't know if you can see, but you can see, where's my finger, there it is. Uh, you can see water coming out of the blocks. Uh, they're really saturated. So I'm leaving that like that for now. Now I'm gonna come across here. I'm just gonna pin in and just line this through. And then all I've got to do is that and then hopefully by the time I've pointed the front and back of this, done that, done that, it should see me to tomorrow where I'll be able to get another four on everywhere and get this up to lintel height, which is pretty good. So let's get back to it.
Right, so this is the stage we are at at the moment. Obviously set the window out earlier, just done where the front door's going and the porch, so that's all sorted. Just a little tip for anyone. Um, I don't want to tell anyone how to suck eggs. Obviously keep your jarms nice and plumb and check them just before you take your line off. But also make sure you plumb your reveals as well. Because even though it's been running with a line, it's always good just to make sure that they're not kicking kick in out or anything like that. Sometimes, especially when you do your 100 mils on the end, sometimes they're leaning in, sometimes they're leaning out. So it's always good just to check your reveal with a straight edge and make sure it's still true. So yeah, anyway, that's what I like to do. Do what you want. Anyway, we are now going to move over to this little panel here. Buzzing. I'm alone, I'm a broken home. I gave you all the bricks that I own and know. Adventure then fly to home But if you want to travel then go alone Yeah, what's the point in us if I never know yeah, If you're gonna leave, I'ma let you go I'm tired of the pain Go Oh, you do get looked after on these private jobs. That's one bonus about working on domestic stuff. Right, that is done. We are at this stage. Fware is up five, uh, internally anyway. Oh, all the backs are sorted, all my trays are showing because the inspector's coming out tomorrow. So hopefully he should be pleased seeing that the back's pointed. Got my vertical damps in, plenty of ties. I think he'll be buzzing. This isn't my normal inspector. I'm in, uh, where am I? Derbyshire Dales. So different inspector up here. So hopefully he's pleased. What I'm gonna do, probably have a load out and get a few more on that first wall I started this morning. Cause it's gone off a bit more now. But yeah, have my cup of tea and uh, then we'll crack on. There we go. This is where we are leaving it today. Took all that up. F wears up five. All the backs nice, pointed, cavities uh, tray cleaned. All good. Sand. Hey, I'm in a convoy on the way to the pub. Hope you guys had a good day. I will catch you in the next one. I'm going to go enjoy a beer. <laughs>